every time. All right, what do we got this time? Oh my gosh, I love it every single time. So every area has its own like renditioning of the jam. I love the the metal work in here since we're in the steam works. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, the game is getting more and more sus. So, oh, hello, 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 my spookies. <laughs> Welcome back to Undertale Yellow. Last we left off, oh gosh, a whole lot of steam works. I think we've made it out of Steamworks, and I think, I don't know if we're officially to Hotland or not, but had to deal with access. Access, not access. Uh, Let's not venture off the path. Uh, I've had enough of Steamworks for today. I hope we're on our way to the lab, but I'm not sure. We'll see what's next in store. But, oh, that boss battle. That was, access was, a oof, woof, 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 woof. That doesn't look operational. Uh, we actually made it. Uh, Let's hope this elevator works. Wood. I don't uh, trust that. Next stop, the lab. <laughs> and what are you planning to do at the lab? Uh, Starlo, what, what are you doing here? The gang and I were planning a return party for you. Thought it was a great idea, especially for Kanako. That's very kind of you. Yeah, well, we went to your old house to spruce it up. After all, this would be the perfect time to move back in. Ed, what did you find while cleaning? Um, I was sweeping the floor and spotted something. An almost invisible trap door. An entrance. You sus. Saraba, what's actually going on here? What really happened to Kanako? Oh, that music. Oh, no. Uh, no, why? This can't. Quit mumbling to yourself and speak up. Why did you need Clover? I don't want this to escalate, so tell the truth. have to go. Clover, come on. Saraba! Ed, take Clover back home and keep watch. I'll chase after her. Right. Oh, it didn't make the squeaky noise. Man. I'm really thinking that Kanako, the daughter, is trapped in the lab, and she's planning on using Clover, at, like, as a, a switch to get her daughter back. That's, that's my, or, I mean, if you know what's happening in the lab, uh, using Clover, that human essence, to try to get her daughter back if her daughter has been, um, experimented on? Let's just, uh, say that for anyone who might not know. Ugh, I'm never traveling via laundry chute again. What laundry chute? Ed, you're back! And Clover, too! Uh, I was worried sick about you. Uh, Where's Star? Saroba ran away, so he chased after uh, her. Alone? Uh, Why did you let him do that? Uh, Star knows that Saroba more, knows Saroba more than anyone more, eh? Well, I'm not so sure of that anymore. Over. 
messaged me about you being in danger. So I dropped what I was doing and flew over here. Why'd you get feathers involved, Moray? I just thought she deserved to know she can help. Thank you for reaching out. I heard that you found something in Sarah's old house. What was it? We didn't have the time to look over everything closely, but it raised some serious concerns. Papers, tapes, belong in Chuji. All way too scientific for me. Clover and I can scope it out. No way. I was told to keep Clover here. There's a potential threat to their life. There's always a potential threat to their life. If anyone can fix this, it's Clover. Fine. Just stay on track. I can't have them running away or nothing. You know the way? I believe so. Okay. We'll meet you there. I still have to finish explaining everything to the group. Until then. Come on, Clover. Wait, wait, wait. I want to do the health thing at the doctor first. Hey, before we go, I need to apologize. I shouldn't have let Sarah take you. I just... I, I really thought I could trust her. We all did. And what I had to take care of at Snowden was far too important. You know what? It doesn't matter anymore. Let's focus on what Ed told us. Concerns regarding Chujin, he said. Surely it's nothing, right? Chujin was almost like a father to me. I forgot she knew Chujin, right? I don't know where I'd be in life without him. Did they ever say what happened to Chujin? I'll let you leave. Just head to Oasis Valley. Nice to see you again, by the way. Okay, can I, um, dang it. Let's stay on track, okay? But the doctor gives me, like, a bonus to my health, and that's, um... An old abandoned wagon. Man. S seriousness. Ooh, that's a good one. I got Christmas Eve tea. What does that mean? I don't know, but I got it. Ooh, that's some good stuff there. Right? The dune's wishing well. Hold a G close to your chest. Think of what you want the most and bust it. You never know. If enough monsters wish for something, it may come true. A wishing well with a large amount of G inside. Can I take it? Oh yeah, you never moved, did you? We need to stay focused. Let's not bother others with our problems. Man, that's such epic music. I love it. I don't know if it's intentional or not, but that reminds me of, like, the cathedral where Sans is at the very end of Undertale. Can I talk to anyone? No. Okay, so you can't do anything. We can mess with that later. We need to go to Sarah's house. <gasps> I bet Sarah's house was the one at the very top. What about free hugs? Okay, so I can't really do anything. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, just checking. Okay, okay. Alright. Stay in focus. Stay in focus. Ah. Uh, oh, because it was a toady game with the fox on. Uh, okay, I should have. Yeah, I forgot what it looks like. The goldfish swimming around in my brain, which is why I'm like, oh, wait, did they mention that? Did they mention. I should really keep notes. I, I've seen a lot of YouTubers that are like, oh, I, you know, wrote this down in my notes section. I'm like, baby, you need to study this game. <laughs> Wow, look at the shrine. I love it. Wow. I was choosing invited me over back in the day. This house is incredible. Uh, yeah, let's get inside and see what the fuss is about. Oh, wow, I love the gem. Oh, oh, I can't even explore? Like, give me the chance, even though it's really, really quiet. Inside. Why should I ask where the papers and traps are located, huh? Or tapes? Hmm. I guess we can take a look around. There should be an office somewhere. State. Freshly trimmed bamboo plant. 
door is locked from the other side. Locked, huh? Strange. Guess Ed and Star took another route. And... Sorry, I'm just... That's cool to hear. Wow. I'm, I'm loving that. That's so creepy. So I guess we're gonna... Wait, we need to find what what Oh Missy Spooks, it's a Japanese style house. They're they're sliding um tatami mat. Wait, are those tatami no tatami mats on the floors? Lord have mercy. They're sliding things. Oh they even have Love this. You open the drawer. Nothing but old pens and pencils. That's the You search the drawers. Just some knickknacks of various shapes and sizes. Uh, confirm. The cabinet contains thesis papers on many different subjects. Wow. These are all typed on cards now. How wealthy was she, Gina? <laughs> Hey, cardstock's expensive. Dozens of books line the shelves. A thick, degraded book sticks out from the others. Home, Blueprints and Annotations, Katsukane. I've, oh, I've, I've, I clicked it too fast. Huh? I heard about Chichin's interest in robotics once. I guess this is as far as he ever got. Uh, no. What does it say? A few unfinished robots poke out from the box. Gizmos and gadgets fill the desk space. Looming over it all, a map. On the map are several pin locations of... This isn't what Ed was talking about, right? I mean, this is clearly Chu Jin's office, but... I wouldn't say it's strange to keep track of where humans... Sorry, I'm sure this is upsetting to look at. Still, many monsters do keep up with it. Is that where, like, they fell? Those events are a big deal down here. That be where humans where, where they landed? A drawer full of videotapes. A label on the front reads Home Movies. Uh, I'm sure these are adorable. We don't have time to watch them. Gotta keep looking for whatever spooked Ed and Star. Well, uh, I don't know. If I wanted to hide something, I'd name it Home Tapes. That's, you know, you know all those secret videotapes on VHS I'm keeping. Dozens of books line the shelves. History, engineering, chemistry, all too advanced for you. Expertly organized files labeled with nu uh, numerous monster names. Did he keep records of everyone he befriended? Sandra, Lewis, Dr. Fish, Rosa, Martlet. Wait, Martlet? He found another monster with my name? I can't believe that never came up. Honey, sweetie, darling. No. He was into a whole lot of stuff. Oh my god, I was like, where's the map? Okay, the map's at the very top. Oh, and they're different colors because of the different color hearts. Oh, and you're yellow. I wonder if that's how far they got before, um, well, terrible things happened to them. All right, I think that's it here. Let's keep going, I guess. An old TV and game console gathering dust. The game case has a handmade cover slip. Surface Tycoon, it says. Chichin programmed a video game for Kanako? Wow, it must have been awesome to have him as a dad. Aww. Like Roller Coaster Tycoon and all that? The sturdy bed sits bathing in the warm glow of the dunes. What a masterwork, hand carved in everything. It's hard to believe Chichin had the time to craft all this. Aww, little. <laughs> I guess it's a clover, right? In the back, I guess, or. Unless that's a unless that's a yellow flower, it could be flowy. Look at the drawings in the back. Is that Dell? You open a dresser drawer and see many neatly folded shirts. I don't think we need to look in there. But no, I want to comment on that picture, please, because I think that's Dell. And remember, Dell said that someone was leaving corn. 
and then all of a sudden they stopped. Okay, all right, conspiracy theory board going up right now. Missy Spook's conspiracy theory board. I think that Kanako was the person leaving the corn because the farm is right up the top, right, for Del. And she was, I don't know, going around doing nice things and doing what a kid does, right? You found a little friend and how cute, but then something happened to her. I don't know if she got wandered into the lab, if she, if her dad did something unforgivable or something, but somehow she got sucked into the lab and the only way to get her out was obviously through humans. Which makes me think we're, uh... Not gonna find her in one piece. Several building bricks are scattered around a stuffed animal. It almost looks like it's watching me. Not sure I like this room. I mean, kind of a creepy bunny, not gonna lie. Um, I think that's it. Okay. The Founder's Crest. Founders. Decisive, devoted, determined. Founders. Founders. Cool. This must be where they ate their meals. What do you see? Your help. You think something's under there? Oh, yes, I do. All right, then. Uh, so, traditionally, there we go. Um, Kotatsu? One second. I want to make sure I'm giving the right information. Missy Spooks needs to um, believe in herself more because I had it right. It's a Kotatsu table. So, how these work, and they are one. The dorm I stayed in when, uh, during my first study abroad in Japan, uh, the dorm mother had one of these tables in her living room. And basically, that there's the cloth, it's a table, it's got the cloth, and then it has a top on top that holds the cloth down, right? And during the warmer months, it's just a cloth. Uh, well, I mean, it's, it's just a cloth, it's a heavy cloth anyways, but I don't know if all of them have this, but there's a heater under that table, and when it gets cold, you turn the heater on, and you just live under this table, <laughs> and you sit on the seats, and your legs are under there, and it is so amazing and the great thing is uh the door mother had cats and so you would stick your feet under to get the warmth and all of a sudden there was just a mound of cats <laughs> underneath the table <laughs> soaking up the warmth of the kotatsu table um but of course there's a trap door under there like come on on three one two three Whoa. Did you just fling that? Good eye, Clover. Well, that's not sus at all. Spooky. Well, uh, after you. Well, hold on. I need to explore more. Thank you. The fireplace is making the already warm house warmer. Pretty counterproductive in a climate like this. Still, it looks beautiful. Uh, it looks cool. Freshly trimmed bamboo plant a big house. I'm not going down there. I have more to explore. Are you just not gonna let me go down there? Oh no, please tell me I don't have pickups. Okay, I guess I just can't go this way for some reason. Sure. Okay. That music reminds me of uh, Majora's Mask. When time starts to get all funky, it does that same, I don't know what you call it, people who know music. Uh, please tell me what that's called, when that that, that blurring, the, the, the warping of the music. It's so cool. It's so creepy. This is super creepy. Whoa. Oh my. What? What is all of this? 
Formulas? Soul research? Hold on, look over here. Tapes. Each one has a date on it. You, you know, maybe this is all a big misunderstanding. Yeah, that's probably it. We'll, we'll just watch these and clear the air. Sweetie, honey. Greetings, this is Chuji. I don't have much time these days for a written journal, so I opted for video. I have no idea who will view these, if anyone, but I see it best to document my work. That is all for now, signing off. This is Chuji. Today I traveled to Snowden with my daughter on casual business. While I was busy, Kanako wandered off to play with a resident. That's when it happened. A few panicked townsfolk ran up to me saying that a human had entered the area. This human. They attacked the monster Kanako was with. She was so close, she could have been next. No one was there to protect her. Not even me. I don't understand. I just don't understand. Humankind already won by trapping us down here, yet they keep twisting the knife. This cannot continue any longer. As of today, I'm looking into stopping this perpetual injustice once and for all. This is Chuji with unfortunate news. I was fired from my engineering position. I poured my all into my project, but it wasn't enough. The programming was buggy, but I know I could have ironed it out with a few more iterations. Why am I punished for trying to take our struggle seriously? I feel as if I'm the only one who hasn't forgotten or chosen to live in ignorance. I told Sarabha I was retiring. Can't let her think less of me. But enough of that. It's in the past. I must live in the present and plan for the future. Prove I can save monster kind another way. This is Chuji. After years of research, I've made a breakthrough. Boss monsters. They may be the key to monster kind's survival. I was able to research this conclusion because I... I carry the boss monster gene. This means my soul is much stronger than that of other monsters. More importantly, boss monsters are immortal until they produce offspring. Right now, monster kind is few in number compared to humanity, but... What if anyone could become a boss monster like me? Like... Kanako. As a nation, an army, we could finally possess enough power to take the surface back. My theory it for this involves the fusion of a human soul and a boss monster soul. From that, a serum would be extracted, which could transform any average monster. You didn't. Oh my gosh, he full metal alchemisted his own daughter! Unfortunately, I have not gathered enough proof that said serum is possible. I must conduct more tests. This, this is Chuji. I was worried this might happen. Science is a dangerous game. Rather foolishly, I experimented on myself several times. Over and over, the subject rejected the fusion, and I think I know why. I'll be direct. My soul has deteriorated, and I don't know how much longer I have. However, I believe my theory holds stronger than it ever did. This is a message to my dear Saraba. This research is up to you. No one else would listen. After I'm gone, look for the next human who falls down here. Someone pure of heart, uncorrupted. I need you to obtain their soul, but not just anywhere. You must have a boss monster's soul nearby to fuse with. You'll need... Damn it. Search for a willing boss monster in the underground. Someone else. Please. Our little girl, Kanako. She needs to live a happy life, unaffected by my endeavors. That is my final wish. Man.
my gosh. I never knew. You never mentioned. Clover, we have to go. Right now. Come on. Tell me where we're going. So, you figured it out. Yes. Sarah was trying to carry out a plan Chuchi left for her. Something involving Clover's soul and a boss monster's soul. Which happens to reside in Kanaka. What the- So she lied to us about the mission to retrieve Kanako. She wasn't lying about finding Kanako. That's the alarming part. So, Kanako is alive and well. Thank goodness. Alive. Am I missing something? It's a long story. She fell down some time ago. Sarah was sent her to the lab in hopes to remedy the situation. I had no idea. Okay. Where was the last place you saw Sarah but go, Ed? You ain't talking taking Clover straight to her, are you? That's exactly what she wants, right? Yeah, Clover needs to stay safe with us. She can't accomplish her goal if Clover's nowhere to be found. We are gonna let her accomplish her goal. And anyway, Wild East is a tourist destination, a public place. My colleagues probably know a human is in the underground by now. If Clover stayed here, they would eventually tear the town up. Better to be on the move, yeah? I... Look, I need to fly ahead and scout the situation. So again, where did the two go? I don't think, Clover, you were there. Where did they go? In the lab, most likely. That lines up. Hot lens it is. Hey, I gave Star my word. Let them do it, Ed. Clover's the only one who can put this to rest. Alright. They took the westmost elevator in the steamworks. You can use the laundry chute to get there quicker. The elevator's destination sits near the core. Ask around if someone spotted which direction they went from there. Wait, we need to go too, right? You need all the help you can get. I appreciate the offer, but please don't. This might get dangerous. Stay here and keep the townsfolk happy if you, uh, like you always have. Okay, but please be safe. I'll try. Thanks for all of your help. Even if you locked me in jail cell for hours on end. Hey, what are friends for? I can think of a few things. I mean, yeah, no problem. Clover, meet me on the rooftop of Ugg Apartment ASAP. We'll figure this out, I promise. Ugg Apartment? I, uh, wish you luck with this, seriously. Yeah, I bet we all... We, we, we'll all be catching bandits again shortly. I'll be sure to save you a spot in our next nap time. Just don't do anything stupid. See you later, deputy. I hope... Oh. Howdy! Long time no see, buddy! I've been waiting to tell you something! It's been weighing on my mind, so I truly mean it when I say... Told you so! <laughs> Sorry, couldn't pass that up. Now, I know this is the part where I tell you to ignore Sarah, but I have a strong feeling that I wouldn't sway you at this point. Honestly, I'm starting to want to see this play out. After all, that fox wants to waste your soul on a science fair project. No good. I'm in your corner like I've always been, so don't worry. We'll get rid of her and continue down our path. Easy peasy. Let me squeeze. It'll all work out in the end, pal. Oh, boy. Wait, hold on. Can I go into that door? I couldn't go in before. Door is locked to the other side. Guess not. Man. I mean, I, that that's not far off where I was kind of thinking this was going, but taking the Full Metal Alchemist route? 